Hello everyone and welcome back to The Amateur Baker and welcome to day... I keep doing this or I'm forgetting the days. 16! Today we are going to be making a carrot cake. I love carrot cake that doesn't have raisins or walnuts in it because I don't like those things. But a normal carrot cake, I love. I've made it countless times now. I've made it for my dad, I've made it for the girls that I work with, I've made it for myself and eaten the whole cake in the space of about three days. So it is really good. Oh, it's a BBC good food recipe actually. I never realised that. But anyway, the first step is to heat the oven to 180. So that is going on in the kitchen. Line an 18 centimeter square cake tin with baking parchment, which I have next to me. Lined somewhat poorly, but lined nonetheless. Beat together the muscovado sugar, the eggs and sunflower oil. So I have 175 grams of muscovado sugar, 175 ml of sunflower oil, and three large eggs that I have already beaten. This just basically needs to all get mixed up. I have like massive clumps of sugar so I'm just going to try to get rid of those. I normally do this with a whisk but I've opted for a spatula today and I'm not entirely sure why. Stir in 100 grams of grated carrots. I have my carrots in this bowl. I don't actually ever weigh out my carrots because you have to grate them. It says three medium works out at about 140 grams but I just do between three and four small to medium carrots and hope for the best. There is 170 grams, no, 175 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So that needs to be sifted in. Once all of that is combined, pour it into your ready lined tin. There we go, once that is all in the tin, it goes into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. I'm going to go pop this in the oven and then I'll probably check back in when it's cooled so that we can do the icing on top. Okay, so it is the next day because if I'm honest, I just got lazy and once I'd filmed everything yesterday, I couldn't really be bothered to do the outros. So I've left it to today. The carrot cake is fully cooled and it's still in the tin. So what we're gonna do is make the icing and then pop that on top while it's still in the tin because it will go everywhere. So I found either leaving it in the tin or putting it on a cooling rack but still in the baking paper works best because then it doesn't go everywhere. So to make the icing it's really simple. You just need 175 grams of icing sugar and freshly squeezed orange juice or you can use orange juice out of a carton, it works the same. So I tried to squeeze out as, but that's a bad idea. I tried to squeeze out as much as I could. Is it two tablespoons? I don't know. There's also pip in there. About this consistency is best. And then just give it a bit of a spread. Best thing about this cake is that it really doesn't have to look pretty. And then all you would do is 
leave that to set on the top it should get like a nice crust over it and then cut it into squares with this tin you can get about 16 squares out of a cake this size that's it for a carrot cake it's pretty simple it's a really easy cake to make and it tastes really nice like i said at the beginning of the video you can also put other things in it like raisins or walnuts or, or anything like that but i just don't like them so i don't put them in do i have a link for it i don't think i do i think i found oh no i said it was bbc good food if i can find the recipe i'll pop it into the description box in case you want to follow it and um, try this out for yourself thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe so that you don't miss any other videos i've got planned for february and check out the playlist that will be linked down below in case there's any videos that you may have missed and i will see you in the next one good bye